What's going on? It's Suk and I'm back with a brand new video on Super Duper Tech. And in today's video, I'll be showcasing the video footage and store images that I got with the brand new iPhone 14 Pro. We are on the road to 5,000 subscribers and if you are new around here, then I must ask you to hit the subscribe button, clicking the bell icon to be notified of when any of my new videos go live. Also, if you'd like to see what videos I'm currently working on, then be sure to follow me over on my Instagram and Twitter, links to which can be found down below in this video's description. And without any further ado, let's hit the titles. So firstly, let's talk about the cameras. They've seen some major updates as to be expected with the main wide camera having its first megapixel increase ever since the iPhone 6S up from 12 megapixels to 48 megapixels. The sensor has also increased in size to allow for more pixels to fit on it. While the actual pixels have physically gotten smaller, Apple has made it so that when shooting normal non-raw images, that every four physical pixels behaves like one, allowing more light to be captured, thus making images much more sharper and reduced noise in them, whilst also keeping to the same 12 megapixel file size. Now this could be quite huge. So expect more videos on the channel comparing this iPhone 14 Pro to the 12 and 13 Pro. The telephoto camera has not seen any improvement, although for some reason the images do look a little sharper. This may be down to the brand new photonic engine found within the A16 Bionic. Whilst the ultra wide camera has the same optics and field of view as the iPhone 13 Pro, the sensor is much larger. And if I'm honest, I can definitely see the improvements, especially in situations with low light. The front camera has been upgraded to support ProRes video and now has autofocus. Yes, the front cameras have never had autofocus. Along with this, the front camera has a much wider aperture coming in at f1.9 versus f2.2 on the 13 Pro. In terms of video, there is no option to record 8K video like other Android devices. Although cinematic mode has been improved to support recording at 4K, which is brilliant. And we have a new feature which is enabled by the brand new second generation sensor shift stabilization action mode, which essentially makes video footage much more stable, much like the hyper smooth and rock steady that we have on other action cameras. Now, although this feature is limited to recording at 2.8K, the video footage still looks very good. So the physical specs for the brand new cameras found on the iPhone 14 Pro is now on screen. And yes, if you're wondering, the cameras have gotten much larger this time around. But hey, enough talking about the cameras. Let's see what these cameras can actually produce.
So this is cinematic mode on the iPhone 14 Pro. It is being shot at 4K at 30 frames per second with the f-stop being set at 4.5. So you should have a good idea as to how the blurry background looks along with keeping me in focus. So what do you think? How do the, how do the colors look? How stable is it? How do I sound? Do they look quite good? Now, of course, if I turn away and look at the scenery that I have in front of me, you'll notice that it keeps the shot in focus. Now, if I move back into frame, you'll notice that it keeps me in focus again, whilst also keeping the background blurred. So what are your thoughts on this? Comment them down below. So this is a front facing video test on the iPhone 14 Pro. I am recording at cinematic mode, well, using cinematic mode. I've currently got the recording set to 4K at 30 frames per second and the f-stop is set at f 4.5 i believe so you can see the background is quite blurred out i am in decent focus and i do look quite sharp if i must say myself uh, but yeah what are your thoughts on the stabilization at this moment it seems like it is doing a very good job for exposing for the background it doesn't look quite blown out it's quite a bit of detail there uh, but yeah how do I sound? Is it quite stable? Do the colours look good? Um, there is no sun now. The sun is due to be setting in about an hour, so take it for what it is, but uh, the footage does look quite good. Yeah. Comment down below what you think of it. So far, it doesn't look too bad.
So this is a video camera test. I am shooting a 4K at 60 on the brand new iPhone 14 Pro. So what do you make of the colors? Um, you know, how is it exposing for the sky? How do I sound? How's the stabilization? What are your thoughts on it so far? The colors do look quite good and it does appear to be exposing fairly well for the clouds over there. But if I turn around and face towards the sun, yeah, it seems to be doing a fairly, fairly good job at it. But yeah, what are your thoughts so far? So far, the video quality looks very good, to say the least. Um, and the action mode looks hella stable. But yeah, what are your thoughts on it? I think it looks quite good. It's going to go into 2x zoom and now into 3x and now into 6x digital. So, yeah, have all the way out. What are your thoughts? I mean, the sun's come out now properly. about it so far. Yeah, what are your thoughts?
So this is a front-facing video camera test on the iPhone 14 Pro. This is being shot at 4K at 60 frames per second. So yeah, how do you think the colors are looking? How do you think it's exposing or not exposing for the sky? I mean, I do have the sun right behind me, but what are your thoughts so far? Um, how does the audio sound? Do I sound quite loud, quite clear? It is a fairly windy day today. So let me know how I sound. Um, how's the stability? It does look quite shaky. Um, and as I said, I do have the sun right behind me. But if I turn around, it should, maybe not, should expose correctly for the back. Uh, but it looks like it's just trying to expose for my face. Um, so, I thought he had fell over. Um, but yeah. What are your thoughts on this camera so far? Or the phone, I should probably say. Um, looks decent so far. But, um, yeah, looks like we're, we are suffering a little on the uh, on the front camera side. If I just put the camera down. Uh, there we are. And tap. There we are. It brings back a lot of detail that you probably didn't even know was there. Um, should also focus. Oh, got a bike coming. But it should also focus correctly for the back. How are we doing? Should also focus correctly for the back as it did over there. Uh, but yeah, you'll probably find that you'll be needing to tap to focus, tap to expose a little more on on this one. Because once you've done it, you can see as soon as I turn around, it exposes for the sky. I look like I'm in decent focus. It's not too bad. Uh, but yeah, you may find that you need to exposed correctly when you are shooting if you do cover up the entire frame as i am right now step aside and it should there you are so although there may be some issues you know with regards to um, hdr and exposing just make sure you tap to focus and expose your images correctly if you're buying a pro phone you should probably know about these i want to say pro features just a pro thing you know so yeah take it with a grain of salt um, if you use it automatically you may have some issues with exposing for the sky um, but yeah but what are your thoughts I look I look golden but yeah comment down below what do you think I think it looks quite decent um, or if you don't then by all means let me know your thoughts so this is once again a front-facing video test on the iPhone 14 Pro. It's pretty dark out. I have got a street light above me. Um, but yeah, how do I sound? How does the picture look? Is it quite stable? There's a car behind me. Brilliant. How did that sound as it's going away? How does the audio sound? Obviously this is being shot at uh, 4K at 60 frames per second. Now I'm moving towards a slightly darker area and we'll see how how it looks there. That light's working today. But um yeah. I think it doesn't look too bad to be fair. It's picking up the hat fairly well. No complaints here. I think it looks very well, especially considering what cameras we've had on you know, other iPads and even some of the iPhones, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty good. No complaints on my part. So this is cinematic mode being recorded at 4K at 30 frames per second on the iPhone 14 Pro. Uh, I am currently front lit. It is quite dark out. 
um, but you should get a good idea as to how the audio sounds there is a little bit of background reverb so you should be able to notice a little bit of that um, and as I say the background should also be quite blurred out now what I'm going to do is turn the flash on and you should notice quite the difference and you should notice with the flash on how front lit I am now um, whilst also retaining the blur in the background now if I move around you should notice how the, the the camera will keep me in focus whilst also keeping the background blurred out um, now once again I've got a, a light behind me so you should also be able to notice the difference in the lighting that that brings but yeah what are your thoughts on this leave those comments down below in the comment section so that's it for today's video what are your thoughts on what the cameras on the iphone 14 pro can produce be sure to leave them down below in the comment section and as i mentioned earlier if you do want to see what videos i am currently working on then be sure to follow me on my instagram and twitter links to which can be found down below in this video's description be sure to subscribe once again if you are new around here as i say we are on the road to 5,000 subscribers and it'll be good to have you around Thank you very much for watching and I'll see you next time. Take care and have a good one.